in less than 24 hours, sir, two ships will arrive at Port Everglades with people who are in We're looking at the two ships, yeah. Should we have, uh, we have uh, Canada notified, a lot of Canadians, a lot of British on the ship, and they're coming to take the people that are on the ship back to their homeland. Uh, Canada's coming, uh, UK is coming, and we have a, a lot of, and we have Americans. Uh, we have some people that are quite sick, and we're taking care of that. I'm speaking with the governor about that a lot. And uh, it's a tough situation. It's a tough situation. You know, you can understand. You have people that are sick on those ships, and states don't want to take. They have enough problems right now. They don't want to take them. But we have to, from a humane standpoint. We don't have a choice. It's like, I don't want to do that, but we have to. People are dying. So they will be led into the country. We're going to do something. We're going to do something. Uh, at a minimum, we're sending medical teams on board the ships. We're taking the Canadians off and giving them to uh, Canadian authorities. They're going to bring them back home. Uh, the same thing with the UK. But we have to help the people. They're, they're in big trouble. No matter where, no matter where they're from, uh, happen to be Americans, largely Americans. But whether they were or not, I mean, they're dying. So we have to do something. So and and the governor here, knows that, too. Before being sent on? Well, we're sending a lot of them home. Yeah, we're sending a lot of them home to their countries. But we'll be doing something, and we'll be announcing it. You'll see what we're doing. But we're also uh, putting medical staff onto the ships so that we can uh, — we have to take care of the people.